actually everybody are heroes of their own story. And uh, you have to think that you're the hero from day one because otherwise you will fail. Every day you have to wake up and you have to be awesome. You have to, uh, you have to actually enjoy every morning and you have to enjoy the trip to your office or to your next room or anywhere you work. So this is the, <laughs> so this is the beginning. Uh, I'm going to now tell um, actually about my first startup, what was an interactive uh, dressing room where you could uh, make HD photos of yourself and uh, send them to Facebook to get the feedback from your friends. Uh, it was quite a nice concept. You can even generate a bank link inside the dressing room and send it to your friend or mother or father to pay for you. But actually, we didn't scale this business model because uh, uh, it wasn't a traditional business model and the businesses didn't want to invest extra money and we actually wanted to get money in the first place. Uh, so we pivoted and our next uh, solution was called iClub, what was used to make uh, the same videos and uh, HD pictures inside a club and you can uh, invite your friends to the club. Um, we had already like four uh, units sold, but uh, unfortunately, iPhone game and uh, it had all the functionality inside and it was a saver for me because then I realized that I shouldn't deal with this uh, idea anymore and I skipped uh, the idea or the concept and we moved to another one, what was called uh, My Drive Style, actually we went to the Brain Hunt uh, final with eight ideas, so we decided that we're gonna stay with the My Drive style, and uh, the product, the first product actually looked like this. It was quite big, like this bottle, even bigger, but it had all the functionality inside. Then I also saw the Lean Startup concept, and I read the uh, Lean Startup book by uh, the guys who, uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah, by uh, one really good uh, author and. Uh, then we saw that uh, we don't have to build the whole functionality from day one, that we just have to analyze the driving behavior of the driver. And um, we did it really well, uh, but unfortunately, um, it was a too high-tech co high concept for the insurance companies and for the banks. And we were <laughs> like only four uh, guys in our team. We had some money, but uh, nobody believed us that we have the technology and that we can uh, deliver. So then came um, one really good guy, yeah, everybody should meet him, Mike. Uh, and Mike told me that uh, actually everything, star everything starts from your client, that y you shouldn't think in your head that um, uh, this is the best concept or I'm the best innovator or uh, this is the best idea. Actually, you should go and confront your uh, client and ask what do they want. The second uh, topic is um, like how to get money. Uh, you will only get money if you have a brilliant team uh, and if all the players can uh, cooperate and play the same game. You ca one can't play football and another drive a superbike at the same time, it's not on the same level. Everybody has to be on the football field and play in uh, synergy. And um, you have to go out and uh, do it, uh, nobody will do it for you. This is really, really important. Um, if you want to change something in the world, then be the change. Uh, don't act, uh, just uh, don't talk, just act. Uh, don't say, just show. Don't promise, just deliver. Um, and when you see something that uh, it's not uh, going as you want, then uh, you shouldn't uh, change the direction. You just need to align your uh, strategy and your ideas. And a few tips. Uh, definitely, when uh, my startup uh, life uh, began, began, I was uh, 14 years old. Uh, then uh, there was a time of SIM cards and uh, this uh, prepaid uh, SIM cards. And actually, I did a <coughs> real big, uh, how to say, uh, politely, uh, I hacked the biggest telecom operator in Estonia and I, I got a lot of um, reputation for it. But uh, I want to talk about uh, seven uh, tricks. Uh, you should definitely get out of your comfort zone, even go and live abroad. I went to Cyprus for a year, and when I came back, actually, then my, like, I don't want to say superstar uh, startup life begin, but then proper business uh, begin. I knew how to sell, 
Uh, this is the second point, learn how to sell. Go even work for Elisar, for telecom operators, and just sell people these uh, uh, contracts, because they will teach you how to sell. This is the most important. In startup, you have to sell. This is ABC. Uh, second one is, uh, third one is, uh, you have to take risks. If somebody, if somebody offers you a job in startup for free, to, uh, just to prove yourself, then you definitely have to take it. Actually, this is how my startup life um, started. I said that I, I will work for free, I just need my uh, equity. Um, uh, fourth is contacts. Uh, go to events like these, even bigger, like in uh, Finland is Lush, and in uh, Germany there are many, many events. But uh, just in the first phase, use these um, free events. Uh, number six is um, uh, give back. And seven is work like crazy, uh, but still you have to exercise. This is a really, really uh, important point. You have to exercise because this is uh, really good for your brain, and you have to eat uh, properly. Just Google how to um, stimulate your brain with uh, B12 vitamins and uh, avocados and like this. Um, and um, you have to actually, um, um, if you wanna uh, predict the future, you have to invent it yourself. When I started. Uh, um, doing my fourth or fifth startup, actually everybody said that who needs uh, security in 3D printing and uh, who needs 3D printing at all. Um, so my friends were quite uh, passive uh, supporting me, but uh, thank God I had a really good team and we had a lot of uh, great ideas and this is where 3D printer OS came and where secure 3D came. Actually, now I'm going to talk about uh, a little bit about 3D printing. To know if 3D printing can save you energy 50% and save you 90% of materials, that's quite revolutionary. Actually, companies, uh, traditional companies, are already using it. Uh, with 3D printing, you can even print live cells. You can, oh, you can print a new arm, new finger, a new skin uh, patch or something. They are already doing it. Just Google uh, bio 3D printing and you will see a lot of cool stuff. Um, I actually 3D printed uh, all our coils brain. It's, we call it FDM brain. FDM is the technology to use, uh, used to make uh, this brain layer by layer. Um, so this year we got a lot of prizes. We, got, uh, we were nominated for the EU Estonian uh, Innovation Award. We got the best consumer uh, software prize from London, uh, 3D print show. Uh, most used uh, consumer software and uh, we're also doing a positive change in 3D printing. So if anybody wants to 3D print, go to cloud.3dprinteros.com and you can start 3D printing right away. And I can share my 3D printer with you and you can just play around with it. Um, exactly like I said before, that uh, if somebody tells you that it's, it cannot be done, you can't print a, I don't know, a hair or a, a tooth, then you just you have to see that it's reflection of their limitations, not yours. And um, actually for me, uh, the temptation to quit uh, was quite near, but uh, thank God uh, I didn't quit and I decided to reinvest into myself a little bit and now I'm here, backed by Paul Allen. Um, and everybody in this room are creators of their own destiny. Nobody else uh, defines who, who you are or what you should do. You should be this uh, red guy in the front who is directing all the other guys. You should be really optimistic um, uh, that uh, even if everything is going down the train, you have to see you or you have to find the bright spots in it and just, uh, just um, take your ideas to the next level with optimism. You have to avoid this situation, uh, walking around with your iPhone and uh, scrolling with uh, Facebook or, I don't know, some other social media uh, channels, but uh, this should be used for your business. You should use other people. You should, know the no uh, you should use the know-how that everybody are on their phones all the time and build the application on uh, top of Facebook. The most important is that uh, stop wishing and start doing. Uh, you shouldn't spend money like, uh, like randomly, but you should know uh, why are you spending it and where are you spending it. And all, every time ask why are you doing it. Um, also, life will test you, and uh, this, is, this is a fact, life will test you in every possible way.
sometimes you have to do something you are afraid of because um, like my first tip was you have to get out of your comfort zone then good stuff will happen like for me and um, like in school uh, or in gym, uh, today's moves uh, re uh, uh, reveal tomorrow's results. And even sometimes, uh, like I said, when I was 14, I hacked into the telecom operators, uh, bad things will direct you to the correct path. And uh, never stop improving. Uh, you're never uh, too old or too uh, uh, poor. There is money always somewhere if uh, you have a good idea. Uh, Nobody, nobody is uh, too busy to talk to you, you you're just uh, uh, directing or approaching from the wrong angle. Uh, it always remind that this remember, sorry. Um, and a smooth sea never makes a skillful sailor, so remember this one. And uh, this is, I really love this quote that uh, if uh, size matters, uh, then elephant would be the king of jungle, but actually it's not. Um, and your mind is so powerful that you can in invent great experience and destroy things only with your mind. And again, you have to be really brave, uh, take risks, and uh, the guys who <laughs> will first laugh, uh, later they will copy. And uh, really important is uh, if, if your game is over, then you can press start again with the same idea, you can pivot, you can go... Uh, find new partners, new uh, business partners, or you can just uh, totally start with a new idea. So, uh, any questions, comments? I made it quite quick. How many of you are uh, developing your own ideas at the moment? How many are thinking to make something? Everybody should raise their uh, arms. And how many of you are searching for a, a team member? Nobody? Okay. Your team is never too uh, good. Re always remember this. You always need guys who can uh, sell, who can develop, and who can uh, scale your business. Thank you. <laughs>